learn how to make a paper bow and learn about Archimedes' principle. To make a paper bow, you need a rectangular sized paper. I have a small rectangle sized paper to make my paper bow. I have a big rectangular sized paper to make my paper bow. To make your paper bow, you need to fold it in half right at the corners. and crease it tightly. And next, fold it again, right at the corners. and crease it tightly and open it up like a book and make sure the opening is at the top. Then take one of the corners and fold it right to the middle and crease it tightly. Then take the other corner and also fold it and crease it tightly. one of these, not both, and fold it and crease it tightly. Then turn it, flip it, flip it, then fold these triangles like this and crease it. Then fold the other triangle and crease it also. Then take this corner and fold it up like this, same like the other triangle and do it to the other corner. Then you take the bottom of this and fold it right on top and crease it. Open it up like a pocket and take your two index fingers and push it down increase the size of the diamond or square. Then, then take one of the corners and fold it up at the top and crease it. Then, then flip it and fold the other corner backwards and crease it. 
Then open it up like a pocket and take your two index fingers and fold it down again and crease the sides of the diamond or the square. And then when you see a little opening between the two sides of the diamond, pinch them and pull them hard and then you have a bow. And you have to fold it again like this and crease it. Open it back and you have a boat. Whoa! Now we made a boat. Whoa! I made a boat! Thank you so much, sister, for teaching me how to make a boat. You're welcome. Now let's try testing our boat and putting it in water to see or if it floats or sinks. Now we're going to put our boat in the water and see or if it floats or sinks. We put food coloring in the water so you could see it brighter and we could pretend it as the sea. So let's put our boats in there. Archimedes principle says that an object fully or partially immersed in water, it experiences an upward force and this upward force is called buoyant force. And the buoyant force is equal to the amount of the displaced water. Now we know about Archimedes principle. But why does this still float? So a buoyant force is pushing up onto the ship. The gravity and the buoyant force gives an equal and opposite force, like Newton's third law. What is Newton's third law? Newton's third law says that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. So the gravity is pushing down the equal force and the buoyant force is also pushing an equal force and the gravity is pushing down and the buoyant force is pushing up so they're equal and opposite so the boat floats but how do big ships when we put it in the sea or ocean they float because of displacement what is displacement if there's a ship and it's with some water and you put it in the sea or ocean the water gets out and goes in the ocean that and that is displacement the gravity of the boat is pushing down on the boat and the buoyant force is pushing up on the boat making the boat flow so buoyant force is equal to the weight of the displaced water of an object here the object is the boat now, now let's, let's put more, more weight marbles. more marbles to make more weight so so they're still floating let's put more marbles and see how many marbles will make the boat float one two three four Five, six, seven, two, three, four, five, eight, six, seven, nine, eight, ten, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, twelve, thirteen. Oh no! Wow! marbles make my boat my small boat sink Be why because the boat when i put mar the marbles the marbles and the boat was weighed 
was too much weighted than the boy in sports. Now let's add lots of marbles into my boat to see when it sinks. Starting to sink in waters. sank later than the pink boat because it was larger and the buoyant force was larger so it took lots of marbles to make the boat sink. I hope you learned about Archimedes principle and how big ships float and carry lots of stuff. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel for more fun science experiments. See